Hello there, it's I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of Trailer Park Boys. This show is great. Um, somebody made a point about them being criminals, but still somehow yet being better people than them. The cast of Us Always Sunny. And yeah, I mean, I, I definitely see that. <laughs> if you'd like to see the full unedited reaction for this, the link will be down below on the Patreon. It's also uncensored. YouTube does not like the swears, and um, you get none of them in this, but you do on the um, Patreon exclusive. All the swears, unedited the lot. Uh, also, follow me over on Twitter and or Facebook, or both. Uh, and Twitch, I'll stick that link down there, but I'll probably forget that one, because I always do. But yeah, definitely check me out there, because if I have to take a day off, that's where people will be notified. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just get in this now and have some fun. What a title. <laughs> over. I think we got a couple of A1 class act recidivists up there i love the fact that the car still only got one door i just it's fantastic i've known mrs peterson for about 11 years she thinks that i'm her grandson it's it's pretty cool because you know she's getting older and you know she's always baking me cookies and and inviting me over to dinner and stuff every sunday so it's pretty cool for me i love it it's like I have a real grandmother. It's awesome. <laughs> anyway, she's got to go into surgery for today. So I'm going to look after Doc Sparky this afternoon. Okay, so I'm going to assume, given the title of the episode, that does not go well. <laughs> oh, that's, lo that's lovely. I mean, I remember as a kid, I had a lot of aunties that weren't really me aunties and a lot of uncles that weren't really me uncles and stuff like that. Um, and you used to call them Uncle This and Auntie That, obviously. Um, and they weren't really your family, but they were, like, you, you treat them as such, so that, that's nice. You know, this dog means the world to Mrs. Peterson, you, you know, it's her, it's her best friend. It's all she has. Hey man, it's me, uh, I need you to come pick me up at Lucy's to give me a lift somewhere, my car. I have to go to work. Just, just, just a, a second. Time. I don't care. Lucy, I'm on the phone. You've got to babysit Trinity today, there's no school and there's no one else. Come on, Lucy, I'll take care of it. I'm on the phone right now. Oh, I love the phone messages. I hope this continues throughout the whole show. Just come pick me up, please. Lucy. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Ricky will start back from the beginning. He'll buy a pound of weed from some moron. He'll use it to make brownies. Then he'll sell the brownies. Use the money that he makes from that to buy some hydro gear. It's good that he won't swear in front of his kid, do you know what I mean? Like, he, he swears all the time, he drops F-bombs left and right. In fact, it's, it's a nightmare to edit them all out. <laughs> but still, it's good that he doesn't have to, um, like, he doesn't swear in front of his kid, and I don't have to edit out that section. <laughs> it's only Sam, don't worry about it. Sam, you're buying weed off of Sam? He's got some good shit. No, Sam's got some serious problems, Ricky. Look, he said everything between you and him is cool. Let's put the camera on the cameras, man! Oh, holy... <laughs> there's every episode so far, there's been a gunshot. And I love it. Oh, my God. So, they're doing a deal in an underground subway thing that probably reeks of piss. And they're carrying guns and they shot at each other and nobody hit anybody. I mean, that's good, but also terrible aim. I don't want to get into the details, but uh, simply came down to two choices, so I resigned. Don't Straight you thing. ever the talk thing. about me being a lady, cop again. Please, lady. Don't. You're not a fing cop. You watch yourself. So he's, he's obviously the um, trailer park security. But he, he genuinely is one of those busybodies. I mean, obviously, I understand, you know, that they shouldn't be dealing drugs and stuff like that or what have you. But, I mean, he himself, he buys drugs. He, he said in the last episode he bought drugs from Ricky. So why is he being a hypocrite? Do you know what I mean? Basically, you put half an ounce of weed into a, a tray of brownies and you make twice as much money as just selling plain weed. And the other good thing is some people don't like smoking weed like older folks and that. So I can go to an old folks home with a tray of brownies and make lots of money. <laughs> anyway, I got a tray of but do they know that it's weed brownies, though? That guy, um, I've forgotten his name. Uh, the one with the rum and the coat, Julian. Uh, he definitely reminds me of Sylvester Sloan, like, from afar. 
I, I, I definitely thought it was him. I like I half expect him to go, yo, Adrian, how you doing? <laughs> well, this is a great little gun. Basically, you uh, it goes in, just cock it, and you got about 15 shots fast you can pull the trigger. And it's a nice, reliable gun too, which is good because you're getting to shoot it. The last thing you want is a cheap piece of shit gun, you know, jamming up on it. Yes, and uh, the last thing you want is your daughter to know how to load a gun and shoot you with it. <laughs> ah, she's got the gun. Julian, it's Ricky. Get over here, man. We got a major situation. Ah! Oh. Fucking shot! Get over here! <laughs> it's okay, Julian. It's not your fault. Oh, I literally predicted it. Oh. My God, Jesus. I mean, don't have a loaded gun in the kitchen around your kids. Do you know what I mean? Well, don't have a loaded gun. Jesus Christ. I shot my daddy in the bum. Mommy's gonna get mad at me. <laughs> Just pay fine. Because she didn't know some <laughs> Oh, that poor little kid, man. Bless her. At 10.35 here, I'm gonna have to. 1093 immediately. What's going on with the dog, Ricky? Look, we got a bit of a situation. Ricky! Jesus Ricky! Christ. What's going on with the dog? We got a bit of a situation. Grab the dog and let's go. What Come do you on. mean? I need a doctor. Grab the dog. Ricky, what do you mean? What's going on with the talk dog? To you about it in the truck. Well, he had a full tin of hash brownies or pot brownies or weed, whatever you call them. Yet drug brownies. Yo, 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 yo. Let's pay attention. This dog's in serious trouble. He ate a bunch of weed brownies. My friend's got a 38 slug in his ass. Yeah, like I'm bleeding to death big time. Dog's on dope. You guys are intelligent. You know what the deal is, though, right? Fuck There's it. a brown and white... Hey! Take the keys to my truck. It's right there. Plates are off it, okay? There's a brown and white barn just down the road. You can't miss it. There's a riding mower inside. Farmer owes me a lot of coin, okay? Pick it up, bring it back. So he wants them to steal something so the dog... So can fix the dog and Ricky's butt. I mean, will the dog be all right? Do you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's just weed. I don't think anyone's died from weed. Oh, but I suppose chocolate as well. So yeah, maybe the chocolate side of things. Oh, it's in neutral now. Oh, sorry I'm not so smart, I didn't know that. Take Come these on. planks, get them by the truck. To we gotta get the hell out of here, Ricky. Jesus. So now isn't he like, uh, what's the word, um, complicit, isn't he complicit in their crime? I mean, he helped, he, t he put it in neutral, so he he's an accomplice now. I don't you guys fall us around, but you can help out at least. <laughs> Alright, let's go boys. Let's go. He took the full water. Who the f is that <laughs> what do you Relax, want? Ricky. Relax, Ricky. What do you want? What's going on? Nothing. Oh, this is the best episode so far. Oh, I'm getting a headache from all the laughing. <laughs> oh, he's been shot as well. Just a second, I'm all caught up here. Ricky. Just a minute, Julian. The boom operator has been shot as well. Oh, bless him. Just doing his job. And he gets book shot in his arm or wherever. Hey, Julian. It's Billy, the sound man. Thanks for dropping me off at the hospital. The doctor said it saved my life. Um, I'm out of surgery. Things went really well. I should be back in four to six weeks. So, so don't let him fire me. This is the best job I've ever had. See ya. I mean, wow. This episode is hilarious. It's really, really funny. Um, I love that Ricky got shot twice, and I mean, I kind of called the first one with his daughter shooting him, um, but there was gunshots galore, and I'm shocked every time, every episode so far has had gun violence, and every time I'm like, oh my god, what? <laughs> um, again, it shows this 
show has a lot of heart. Like that old lady who's his, his, his grandma, like she went shopping for his birthday to, and she bought him a little cuddly teddy in the new NWA album. And I mean, that's just, uh, that's delightful. Do you know what I mean? Like, as far as I'm aware, he's told nobody else it's his birthday. Nobody else knew but her. And I think that's, it's genuinely lovely. It's really, really nice. And I really, really do enjoy this show. Um, seriously, it has a lot of heart although hilarious so yeah this is the my favorite episode so far i think there's two episodes left of this season and i'm looking forward to them uh i just want to say thank you very much as ever for your support uh please do drop a like and subscribe uh put the notifications on just so you're notified when your video comes out i've been the geordie nerd thank you very much for watching i'll see you all again very soon for more trailer park boys